Yo, yo, what's going on with ya? It's Black Hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and your boy has been literally craving. Quite literally. Why did I use it like that? Some KFC. It's coupon season, and uh, there's a four piece box coming up. I'm also going to get one of the those the newer the famous chicken sandwiches the more like thicker with the pickle although hmm a big crunch no i'll get that one i'm gonna get the famous anyways it's beauty out it's a bluebird finally even though it's coming back in just a day or two so we're taking advantage of a decent day it's like only like minus not that bad today whatever it is i don't know right now but it's not minus 27 or 30 so it's been like that for literally a week, week and a half, and then the nice day, and then another week, week and a half. And it just makes me wanna, I don't know, not like jump, jump from the top of a building, jump, jump, and, and myself, jump, jump, you know what I mean? It's kind of like that, but uh, anyways, let's go get some KFC. Welcome to the Huinta Juan We got a fresh dusting last night. Fresh coats, fresh coats. All right, we've migrated to a secure locale, AKA my local Burger King, because I wasn't having that parking lot and I wasn't digging the vibe. All right, box and the famous chicken sando secured. We have some strange lighting going on here. Very Quentin Tarantino perhaps or something like that. But uh, they laughed at me about this. Let's talk about it. All right, y'all, famous chicken sandwich. Doesn't usually have lettuce, so I requested them to add lettuce. Hmm. Didn't know it would be funny. First bite, though. This is what I was really craving. Like, I was craving everything else, like those 11 herbs and spices and all that, but this is really what was on my mind. Mm. Magnifique. So the big crunch has lettuce, no pickle. The famous chicken has pickle, no lettuce. I like lettuce. And I like pickle. <laughs> so I told him to add butter. The girl, and she goes, but do you still want the pickle? I was like, I didn't say no pickle. I just said add lettuce. And then there's a guy standing in the back and, and I just hear him yell the girl. He goes, they want, they want lettuce on that sandwich or whatever. And she goes, yeah. And then he just like giggles to himself. He like chuckles and like shakes his head. And I was like, it was that crazy? And then she giggled along with him and I was like. Have you never modified something that you ate? Like have you never had pickled tomato lettuce and more on a chicken sandwich? So this is an extra special bite for y'all that who were razzle dazzling me. Pickle and lettuce. <laughs> I will say that he put a whole garden salad on this bitch. And I appreciate that, to be honest, more than he knows. Okay, I've never tried it with barbecue, but I want to try it with a nice shoshi bite of barbecue. Yeah. KFC barbecue is something.
but this is hitting the spot. Lots of chicken centric videos on these last uh, uploads. But all my subscriber sponsored requests had chicken in them. So we got to honor that and then still crave it after all of that. But yeah, as you'll notice, my savage breath, that the snow banks are insane. And I can I can't really turn in my driveway. I have to like pull up diagonal back up to my neighbors in the middle of the road and then like align myself straight with my driveway. Like I can't just turn in anymore because I get clipped on a snowbank. It's so tight. That sandwich is much better than the Big Crunch, I'd have to say. All right, we're going to pull a Quan just because it's over the top. Drinking the gravy. And I'm straight up going crazy and combining the ketchup directly into the gravy. <laughs> this is what's happening. Because you guys know I love my fries and gravy mix. Nice ASMR bro pinch. Didn't ball it up, but KFC fries hit just straight up. So I don't know if you, I don't know if y'all see what's going on up in my area. You've probably seen it all over the news and TikTok. Or not in the news, actually. Because they're trying to hide it. But the truckers is rising up. And tons of other people. I'm too far to partake. I can't join in. But you all know my stance on the issue. Once again, though, it's very divisive. There's people in my family who are just like completely slandering them and just hating hard. It isn't a simple issue because there are some knuckleheads in there doing some whack shit. But for the most part, I understand what's the point of what they're doing, right? But, uh, it's awesome. That said, <laughs> lately, just in life, I've been trying to, I try to, like, I want to expose myself to these things, but it seems like no matter what, You expose yourself, you expose yourself, you get yourself all worked up. And then it just seems like nothing changes. I'm not saying that it's futile. It just sucks that all these things occur. And then nothing changes. And our president, or our president, our prime minister gets scared and goes up to his cabin in the woods. 
and it disappears. That's a good piece of chicken. It doesn't face anything. And the little drawings and memes about him are absolutely hilarious. But it's awesome to see so many people coming together like that. There might be some misguided ones in there for sure. I'm not discounting that. But I think what they're mainly standing for is the right the right message. Those people are tired, man. You cage people up long enough, what do you think is going to happen? Like, in all honesty, what do you think is going to happen? Exactly what's happening. It's a matter of time. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.